All right, guys. Here we are for part four. Seems we have our eyes back. Oh, okay. There we go. Oops. Select the wrong one. Okay. So let's keep going here. Last part. We have to. We said we were gonna fix this six uh, six uh, edged pole here. So let's go ahead and look on how we can fix it. The easiest way I can think of it to do. Uh, would be to just delete the f this uh, edge here. Let's try to uh, include um, back geometry. Oh no, that just gets rid of everything. So uh, we need to rip some more stuff here. But we need to figure out what to rip first. Maybe rip this here. Um, yeah, and then after just make a face. Maybe that'll work. Oof. So I'll try that one more time. Okay, move this back here. I think that might have fixed it. We've got one, oh, let's see, one, two, three, four. Is that six again? Hold on. Okay, just yeah, get rid of that. I don't think we actually got rid of our uh, our pole here. Let's just go ahead and just disassemble this whole thing. Okay, and then we can look at it from a better point of view. Go ahead and add a face here. Actually, no, because we have a we have this here. So we have five vertices here. We could have four down here. Then maybe one, two, three. Then we have three there. See, these are the kinds of problems that people run into, including myself, when retopologizing things. And it's uh, it's it's good to show how to fix them. So let's go ahead and merge these two back together. Oops, not in the center. Okay. Um, maybe if we merge this two. Okay, and now we just work from here. Okay, so this already has as many as it can have. So we need to make sure. Maybe if we merge this one to here. And then just add a face. Maybe that'll, did that fix it? Uh, yeah, that fixed it. Cool. But we have another problem now. And that problem is we don't have clean geometry here. See, we have an, uh, a face. Uh, the loop overlaps. So we need to fix that. So how can we fix that from happening? But I don't want to mess this up, really. Hmm. For now, we'll just leave it alone. We'll deal with that at the end. I just wanted to get a nice shape with, with the nose first. Oops, yeah. And the reason these eyes keep coming in is because I keep hit, hitting the tilde, tilde key. So just make sure you don't hit that. Anyway, let's keep on going. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to get the, the crease that comes over the eye here. And we didn't incorporate that into our model. But we can incorporate it now. But um, yeah, we, we would have to turn off retopology for that. So we'll just save that for the, for the end. For now, let's just go ahead and finish up the head. So another thing I would like to do here is uh, select all these top faces here. Make sure we have them all. Let's go ahead and press period so that we can bring up everything to rotate around the 3D cursor. And then we'll press E to extrude. Right click to cancel that out. And then we'll right click. And we'll bring it in. And then we'll smooth, smooth, smooth. And bring it up again. Make sure everything is uh, Line here, press SC to straighten it out a little. OK, 
Okay, and then we'll uh, manually rotate some stuff here, move some stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this <coughs> edge loop here. We don't need it. Not in right now, at least. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and add one more. One more edge loop here. And then I think we'll be done with this bottom part here. Because uh, we need that to go into the for the chin. Okay. There we go. And then um oops, looks that looks kinda strange, but oh well. Now we'll just have this rotate around here and then we'll have it join up right here. And then uh, we'll be good. Good to go. And uh, we're going to sculpt this retopologized model as well to get uh, forms that we couldn't get with just moving them around as polygons and vertices. Okay, so we can add another loop there later. So go ahead and select this here. And then we need to deselect this <coughs> bottom part. So just press B and right click and drag. If, you ha if you're doing this in 2.5, just press B and Alt and left click. It does the same effect. But uh, the I couldn't really find any retopology re tools in 2.5, which is why I'm doing it here. I mean, they do have a the shrink wrap modifier, but I do much rather prefer retopology tools. And plus, Blender isn't crashing on me every three seconds. Let's go ahead and uh, go back to bounding box here. Okay, so it's just, and you want to make sure you press smooth. And make sure everything's cool. Okay, alt right click to select that edge loop. Make sure everything's looking okay. Let's go ahead and fix this here. Okay. And this is another great thing about retopology. We don't have to uh, worry about the head looking weird or everything because it's snapping right to this other model. Now, in terms of the ear, how we're going to model that, we're going to we're not going to make a realistic ear at all because this is an realistic character. So, we're not going to go through all this trouble when it would just make the rest of, you don't want just one part of your model looking stylized and then have a super realistic ear. At least that's not what I'm going for. So, so we're just going to make a stylized ear and it should look good. People uh, outside of animation don't really look at the detail in the ears anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like if you, uh, if anyone saw the movie, the Pixar movie Up, you'll notice that uh, their ears were just uh, extruded in like this. They had no major detail or anything like that. It was just uh, extruded out and in and repeated. Let's fix this here. Let's turn on the back face occlusion. Okay, this uh, face here is uh, peeking through a little too much. It's uh, making a weird face here. Okay, I just move that in there like so. Hmm. We're going to have to add one here later. Now let's just go ahead and... Uh, F, F, okay, and we'll just go ahead and leave this open for now. I think we have an edge loop here, do we? No, we don't. But how could we make this? We'd have to merge these two, I think. But it's not worth it. It's cool. It's fine. Mm, yeah, we'll add that later. Um, okay, let's just do a little bit more work for just a couple more seconds. Now, modeling this uh, neck and body part is going to be easy. We're just going to take this here, and we're just going to extrude uh, just basic loops. 
Just one, 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 until it comes together here at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and tab out, and we are looking good. Uh, all right, guys, let's go ahead and save this. Save as part four. All right, so thanks for watching this tutorial, and be sure to watch the next ones. All right, guys, thanks. Bye.